Well, a very, very warm welcome to you on what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day, a rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. The Emirates Stadium, in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. are friendly, the crowd clearly doesn't think so, or in actual fact the we. Well I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. That gets things running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning-fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses, and I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. And it's Hector Berrien. Partey. And here's... It's Lacazette! He's done very well to get to that. Lacazette simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Going through. A buccaneering run from the defender. A really good feat. Massive leap! It's there! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Aubameyang. Aubameyang. Forward it goes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So, oh, shooting chance! Oh, the kick has done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his his high-class weight. And it's Chilwell. Played into space out wide. Well played, he saw that coming. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Zuma.
Pulisic. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Pulisic! Mighty close. Pulisic nearly produced a moment of magic. He knew the strike was pure. Partey. Lacazette. Coaxed through there. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Pulisic. Looks to clip it forward. Nicely measured pass. And he heaves it forward. Back to Barry. Back to the keeper and go again. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. And it's played forward. Done very well to intervene. Now it's Lukaku. Lukaku hits one! And in it goes! Two up and threatening to pull clear! Pulisic very cleverly provided the return ball there and it made all the difference in the creation of that goal. I don't want to take anything away from the finish, but the pass was really key. Chelsea grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now, the command has been established. Granit Xhaka, Xhaka plays it forward, Thiago Silva cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tierney, and it's Aubameyang. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Conte. Conte goes up and over. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Questions were asked. Given the answers, Hector Berry. Just brushed off the ball there. Out to the left it goes. He's got through. It's Lukaku! Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. Well, we call that the slide rule pass. Time to absolute perfection. Quality ball. Tierney. Granit Xhaka. Aubameyang. He came in hard, very hard. Nicely controlled. Has a hit! <laughs> Decent looking ball. He's made sure that that won't get through. Leno gets it upfield. Thiago Silva. Hector Bellerin. It's gone for a throw in.
complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Raspilicueta. He's picked him out. Oh, good interception. He's got away. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Tierney. It's a Babia. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. Thiago Silva plays it out to the wing. Partey, Partey drives it forward. Chilwell, who does have an assist to his name. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. We'll do it back on the first 45 minutes. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Chelsea go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. So we're already into the second period. Respilicueta. Conte. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Thiago Silva with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. <laughs> Arsenal making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front, and this is something different. Lukaku, Raspilicueta. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. That's surely a foul free kick. Raspilicueta gets his final warning. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Oh, Bamiyang! I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. There's a long ball. Now it's Lukaku. Lukaku showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Kaku, William, hoists it forward, more than happy to take the muscular approach, he's played him through. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. William, and here's Aubameyang. Aubameyang provides an outlet. Oh, smart save! Lukaku... ...looks to dink one in. Pulisic! Chilwell is charging up on the overlap. on that and they have themselves another corner knocks it away and the question that's a foul
keeper's got good distance on that. Well positioned to make that interception. Partey plays it out to the flank. And here it's Lacazette! Oh, great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Time for a change in personnel. Perfection. That's been a question. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It's a Babian. Partey. Hector Bayerine. He's gone for goal. Disappointing finish in the end. Well, the defence are in a good position to get behind the ball and, and let them just try from range. A couple of changes then in quick succession. <laughs> Raspilicueta. Somewhat looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Keeper's ball. Conte. And now the breakaway. And it's played forward. Hector Bayerine. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Bayerin. Thiago Silva gets his foot in there. Thiago Silva goes looking. Goes for a sweeping cross. Pate gets good distance on it. And here's Kante. like 3-0 for sure. Lukaku just got a little carried away with himself there. He knew he could have clinched it. <laughs> There's going to be another change here. Hector Bayerin. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. The through ball gets the better of his man. Shot at goal, and it's there. And they are pulling clear here. Chelsea are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter attacking that's the real highlight. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Tierney plays it over to the other flank. And it's William. This could spell danger. Lacazette! Outstanding save to keep that out. <laughs> 
So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Tries a shot! He was not concerned by that. Arsenal have decided to carry on taking pot shots, but they're not closer to any joy. Well, that is asking for trouble. Conte. And it's Marcos Alonso. Xhaka tries to clear. It's Lukaku! It goes to show he is human after all. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Cedric Suarez. Partey. out on the left now Partey Cedric Suarez tries to get it forward quickly it's a loose ball oh, they're looking at the ref oh real danger here <laughs> Raspilicueta gets wrestled off the ball now it's Lacazette could move up a gear here. He gets past his man. Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. And that really is the last thing they wanted to do. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. just never going to miss. Well, that looked a simple case of giving the keeper the eyes and just slipping the ball to the other side. That was clever. Arsenal give themselves a fighting chance, back in with a shout. Four added minutes on the board. Thiago Silva. Rudiger. Nicely measured pass. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Clears it out of harm's way. Oh, good take in a good area. And it's Marcos Alonso. Look at... And the finish! And that's it. Chelsea always look the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. The end of the game. Reflections. Chelsea made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride.